with the sexting allegations, the criminal case could come down to one main question for the jury. How could Ross Harris have not noticed his son on the short drive to work that morning or when he came back to his car later that day? It's a question the Fox 5 I team originally investigated in the days after the tragedy two years ago. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis returns now with this preview of the state's key arguments here, Randy. Yeah, Tom and Lisa, while many of us uh, say we would never, ever forget our children in a hot car, since the beginning of the century, nearly 600 have died just that way, according to the advocacy group Kids and Cars. Here's why prosecutors believe what happened to Cooper Harris was no accident. One month after Cooper Harris died in his dad's hot car, the Fox and I team watched as Cobb County investigators tried to reenact those horrible conditions. On a similar 90 degree day, with Ross Harris's 2011 Hyundai Tucson parked in the same spot near his office, investigators measured the inside temperature rising to as high as 130 degrees, according to a law enforcement source. Notice how close Cooper's car seat is to the driver's seat. Cooper's head would have been only inches from his dad's elbow, who insists he forgot he was there. This is lead detective Phil Stoddard from the preliminary hearing in 2014 talking about their reenactment with a mannequin. The head was clearly visible um, poking up over the car seat. And did that demonstrative aid, was that actually a little bit shorter than Cooper? Yes. Father and son would share their final meal together at this Chick-fil-A only minutes away from Harris's office as he headed into work that morning. What Harris did next made investigators even more suspicious. After he left Chick-fil-A, Ross would have to make a left on Pace's Ferry to take Cooper to daycare. But it's at this point that he's telling investigators he forgot his son was right here and he ends up going straight. That decision would have come only a few minutes after he had put Cooper into the car seat, kissed his son, and drove out of the Chick-fil-A parking lot. Defense attorneys are expected to argue Harris could have been distracted because evidence shows even during his last meal with Cooper, Ross Harris was texting with women. Nearly seven hours after he left Cooper inside that car, Harris would get back behind the wheel to drive away with the windows closed. Yet even then, Harris says he did not realize what he had done and drove out of the parking lot. According to his statement to authorities that was released during the hearing, he has not noticed his dead son in the back seat, even at this point, more than a mile down the road. Prosecutors have argued the stench inside the car should have been immediate. A smell investigators say they noticed after arriving on the scene that fateful day. But other experts suggest it would have taken much longer for such a smell to materialize. And one report raised questions about whether Ross Harris actually had any sense of smell at all. Now, Harris faces both malice murder and felony murder charges. Malice murder means he meant to lock his child in that car to kill him. Felony murder means Cooper died while in the commission of another crime, cruelty to children. Ross Harris leaving his son in that car seat on a hot summer day in Georgia. Very, very interesting case. And you said 600 children have died this way since uh, the year 2000. How many of those parents drove more than a mile before they, they realized that their child was in the back seat? Yeah, Amber Rollins is the director of Kids and Cars, and she says it's not uncommon. She says that just like in the case of, of uh, Ross Harris here, that people get in their car at the end of the day and they drive, well, to daycare, to pick, thinking they need to pick up their child, not realizing that their child is dead in the back seat. She says it happens more than we might think. So many, the whole thing is so unthinkable. Yeah, but how many of those parents convicted of murder, though? Does yeah. She says none. This okay. would be the first prosecution of anyone. She says there's been no evidence up until now that anybody intentionally left their child mm. in a car to kill them. Mm. All right, Randy, thanks. Okay.